On this video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about CBD merchant processing. First of all, do you really need a CBD merchant processor? It's gonna depend upon how you plan on selling the CBD products, whether you have an existing business or not. So let's take a look. If you have an existing retail business, let's assume that you're a spa, an apothecary, uh, a doctor's office, and you sell a wide range of products and you're very simply just going to add CBD products to that range, I very simply wouldn't advise anybody to go through the work of getting a special CBD merchant processor. My advice very simply would be to make sure that you do not label the products in your system as CBD. Uh, very simply, uh, your merchant processors likely will not care if you're selling a wide range of products, but only a couple are CBD. But again, if you want to be safe, you can ask your merchant processor or just very simply don't label your products in your point of sale equipment or anywhere else uh, as being CBD products. Are you a new retail business or are you primarily going to sell CBD? Um, so if you are a CBD store, as an example, you would definitely need a CBD merchant processor. You would not want to launch a CBD store or any business that is selling primarily CBD products without a CBD merchant processor. And then if you're going to sell online, you definitely need a CBD merchant processor. It's too easy for your merchant processor to take a look at your website and see that you're selling CBD on your website. And if they do see that you're selling CBD on your website, then most likely they're going to reach out to you and let you know that they cannot process CBD and they'll require you to take your products off your website. So that's the things that you need to consider whether or not you wanna you know, get CBD merchant processing or stay with your current merchant processing. So why don't most banks offer CBD merchant processing? First of all, Congress has not passed the bill they call the Safe Banking Act that would allow for merchant processing for any cannabis products, whether that's THC products found in a dispensary or CBD products such as those that we sell here at Joy Organics. CBD is currently not regulated by the FDA and as a result of not being regulated by the FDA, uh, it limits the ability for any large bank to really sell CBD because they're unwilling to take on the risk of selling a product that is not yet regulated by the FDA. And then CBD merchant processing is considered high risk. It is not nearly as high risk today as it was four years ago, but it is still considered a high risk processing business. And the same is true with all nutritional supplements. They all fall under the high risk category. So what banks currently offer CBD merchant processing? First of all, Square offers CBD merchant processing. So if you have a retail store um, and you've got Square point of sale equipment, um, then you know obviously that's nice and simple. And then there's a number of banks that offer CBD merchant processing. Uh, these banks change, we continue to uh, evaluate them, get feedback from our customers uh, that are using them. And I'll share with you uh, how to gain access to those banks here shortly. What to consider when selecting a bank? Well, obviously how long they've been processing CBD. I would not want to give my business to any bank that is just beginning the process of processing uh, CBD uh, charges. Uh, secondly, what are the rates? Uh, how much are they charging? So again, it makes sense when you get the list of banks that we are gonna provide for you that do CBD merchant processing, compare the difference in the rates of those banks. Uh, obviously, evaluate the service. Uh, the bank that we use for our merchant processing provides exceptional service. I mean, we email them, they are Johnny on the spot. They take care of anything that we wanna have done. Very great service, so we're super uh, pleased with them. What does their approval process look like? What are they gonna require from you? And then what does that approval process look like? Um, next is what type of products will they not allow? So as an example, some banks that do CBD processing will only allow you to sell topicals. So you wanna find out what are the limitations? Some banks will not process high potency THC products. So again, make sure that before you complete an application, you review with the person you're talking to the a range of products that you wanna sell so that you're not wasting your time and make sure that they'll allow you to sell all the products that you plan on selling. Um, another part to consider is shopping cart integration. So as an example, if you chose Square, Square does not integrate easily with Shopify. If you're wanting to use Shopify as your shopping cart, 
uh, we would highly recommend that you not use Square. You're gonna wanna use one that uh, uses a gateway through authorize.net that integrates easily with Shopify. And so the list of banks that we'll provide for you all integrate with authorize.net and integrate with Shopify. Our, our shopping cart on joorganics.com is uh, a Shopify shopping cart. Uh, and then lastly, your point of sale equipment. So again, another part of your consideration, uh, if you like Apple point of sale, then, or excuse me, if you like the, the Square point of sale, then you would wanna use Square Merchant Processing. If you're using a different company's point of sale equipment, then it really wouldn't matter who you use for your merchant processing. As far as our wholesale program, let me just tell you very briefly about this because obviously if you're watching this video, you're looking for merchant processing, which means that you're looking to sell CBD products. So I've obviously got to take this opportunity to tell you very briefly about our wholesale and private label program. And then I'll share with you how you can get information on the banks that actually do CBD merchant processing. So uh, at Joy Organics, we are the number one USDA certified organic brand. We are a top 10 CBD brand. We offer 50 to 65% off our retail prices to our wholesale partners. There's a $250 minimum order. There's no minimum on the number of units uh, that you can purchase. Uh, we offer free shipping. We offer free business consulting. And when I say business consulting, um, we've worked with more than a thousand partners, wholesale, private label. We help these people build successful businesses. So part of the benefit of working with us is we're gonna share with you what we've learned with Joy Organics, what we've learned from our partners and provide for you that advice. And uh, we obviously take service uh, at a very high level. Uh, you know, we're all about the customer experience. If you wanna know what has made Joy Organics a top 10 CBD brand, it's our focus on the customer experience, on the products that we sell, on the experience that they have from everything from the emails, to the communications, to their ease of getting hold of customer service. We take great pride in the service that we provide here at Joy Organics. As far as our private label program, this allows you to take the Joy Organics products and put your label on them. And so uh, again, you can have a USDA certified organic label on your products. We offer over 50 products uh, under the Joy label, as well as under your label. We offer professional label design. Uh, the startup costs are very low to launch your own CBD brand, uh, anywhere from $1,000 to $2,500, uh, depending on whether you're an existing business or a new business. Our reorder rates are $1,000, so very low reorder rates. On our private label uh, business, we offer a low minimum of 12 units per SKU that you would need to purchase. So again, makes it nice and easy for you. And our turnaround time on all of our private label orders is seven business days. As far as what your next step would be, if you just very simply need the list of merchant processors, email us at merchantservices at joyorganics.com. Somebody will respond and provide for you the list of all the merchant processors. When you reach out to a merchant processor, let them know that you're referred by Joy Organics. The odds are very high that whoever you talk to is very familiar with Joy Organics and it will give you uh, extra service, so to speak, uh, because they value the business we're referring to them. And if you tell them that you were referred by Joy Organics, uh, you're gonna get an extra level of service because they don't want you coming back to us and telling us that you didn't provide a high, or that they didn't provide a high level of service and re get removed from our uh, recommendation list. I'd also recommend if you are looking to start a CBD business that you watch the 10 videos that I have created on the 10 steps to starting a CBD business. I'd also recommend if you're looking at um, our wholesale program to watch the video that provides an overview of our wholesale program. If you're looking to launch your own brand, I would highly recommend that you watch our video providing an overview of our private label program. And I'd also recommend that you watch the video, 15 considerations in selecting a private label supplier. Uh, there's a lot of factors you need to consider from the freshness of the product to are they USDA certified organic to costs and lead times, all of which are covered on that video, the 15 considerations. And so uh, if you would like to learn more about either our wholesale program, email us at wholesale at joyorganics.com. If you'd like to learn more about our private label program, you can email us at private label at joyorganics.com. So we wish you the best of success as you launch your business and anything we can do to support you and help you, we're very happy to do it.